In FSM, toxicology is one of the most important chapter and we are going to discuss about the mercury poisoning. While discussing mercury poisoning, we have to remember mercury as it is is not poisonous, it is a mercury vapor which is the most hazardous one. And among the mercury salt, the mercuric salts are much more poisonous than the mercurous salts and mercuric chloride is most poisonous of all of them. So we broadly classify mercury poisoning into two broad types. One is acute poisoning, another is the chronic poisoning. In acute poisoning, it affects the kidney also, lead to proximal tubular nephropathy. And also there is a grayish white discoloration of mouth. In chronic poisoning, it affects quite a few systems. It affects eye, it affects the skin, it affects GIT, and also the most importantly, nervous system. So in eye, it uh, leads to mercurial lentis, where there is a brown deposit in, in the anterior lens capsule. In skin, it leads to acrodynia or pink disease, which mainly chiefly affects the hand and the feet. Now, in uh, GIT, it uh, uh, leads to dysentery, it leads to membranous colitis which resembles diphtheric colitis and also blue back line on the gum, which resembles Bartonian line which is triple blue line on the gum which, see, which is seen in the late poisoning. And in nervous system manifestation, one neuropsychiatric manifestation is there which is known as erythism where there is a shyness and timidity seen in the person who is affected by mercury poisoning where, which, uh, where uh, the Ritalin is the drug which has uh, been used to treat that. And there is a coarse intentional tremor which, which is seen in the, uh, due, uh, due to the chronic exposure in children that is known as Danbury or Hatter uh, or glass blower shake and which uh, in uh, severe cases can lead to concussion mercurialis or shaking palsy. One important syndrome we must remember, which, where, which has never been asked before but can be a future question also, which is Hunter-Russell syndrome, which is seen in cases of methyl mercury poisoning, where many manifestations are there. We have to remember visual field constriction, speech and hearing defects, and also parasthesia and ataxia. And there is a historical perspective to that, which is seen in the Japan Minamata Island, where 265 lives have been lost and that, least, uh, that disease is known as Minamata disease. Thank you.